this particular video, what we're looking at is the position of the LEM in comparison to its location, to the geofoam rock, and to the experimental equipment. In this photograph right here, you can see the geofoam rock is right here. The flag is here, planted right beside it, 75 feet off. The experimental equipment is 500 feet out, and it is right across here to it. This shot is shooting almost directly west. Sun's at your back. Here's another picture shooting to the west from inside the limb. To show it a little clearer in this one. And there's the experimental equipment here, the geofoam rocks here. Now in this photograph, the mountains are getting a little bit closer. Okay, I'll just back up one. See this picture? Now all of a sudden, they're a whole lot closer. This mountain just appears here, moved around a little bit. The sun's coming from the east, so the shadow, that is the direction to the west. That is the following direction to the west past the geofoam rocks right here. So that's the north wall, massive there. And once again, here's another close up. This image here is a shot from the southwest corner on EVA2. And as you can see the features here, this little mound here and this little feature coming up to here, there's that feature coming up to that mound there. All of a sudden, the geofoam rock is right there, down in the southwest corner, because you're standing beside the experimental equipment. Don't forget, the previous shot when we were shooting at the limb, the experimental equipment is only 500 feet. The X marks the limb location, experimental equipment, and the geofoam rock are 500 feet this direction. The final resting position of the limb is, of course, 500 feet this direction on this side, and it shoots this way for the takeoff. However, these features here are in EVA2 down in this corner. As you can see, the shadow here shows you where west is, and that's the Lincoln scarf along this bottom edge here. That's what you're looking at here. But it's only in these photographs. So I put these together, and now we're going to see it. I put two pictures together here to show that. And as you can see, there's the experimental equipment, there's the geofoam rock, and this is the next picture. I put them together. You can see here to here to here is all of this right here. It's taken from a different location because this continues all the way down to the west. The actual location of where these features are would be off the screen to the left-hand side over here that you will see from EVA2. And the sunlight has changed because the sunlight is headed to the west. So in this picture, west is it over here. In this picture, there's the sunlight going that way, west is that way. You see the shadow, right? They're headed that way, that's west. And in this one, this hill would be west. Completely different, 90 degree difference in angle of the thing, 90 degree difference in where the features are, this picture, we're standing, this is the central station to the geofoam rock. So here's the central station, the geofoam rock, looking down this way. And this is what you see when you're standing beside it, looking past the geofoam rock, you're looking at this. But this is west. This is south. West is that way in this picture. That's a huge problem. And then when I pull these other pictures up to back it up, and then here you are back in the limb, shooting 500 feet down, and this rock is nowhere near any of these features because now you're looking at the west. The guy behind the camera, his back is to the east, he's facing directly west. This feature is west, and then in the other one, this feature here is west. So they just keep moving the set around. There you go again. Where is that here? There's a little crater here, and the mountain is right behind it. And when you come in, and you can see, when they were building this set, north massive, south massive, whatever, these structured hills, not sculptured hills, that they put in, they made them so that they're portable, so that you can raise them up and down and move them back and forth. The same as this piece in here, moving it around. And you see where it says talus here, and they sprayed the talus in to blend it between that and their subfloor that they were producing. When you come in on this particular picture here, you can see where they sprayed the talus in. There's no features on it. See, there's some features there and there's features there. 
This is where they blended the two together. And they've done that everywhere. Everywhere has a T as a talus where they blend it into the hillside. See the line there? This is how they built the frame down. It's portable. They move it in and out. And to blend the hill and the main floor together, they put this talus line in. And it is visible in the thing, which means this is a full size outdoor scenery. I would suggest that this is about a thousand feet across and about 3,000 feet long for the rover to run around on. Now, when you come up to the next picture and you see where they put the light mantle and the dark mantle in and did the whole thing on the map and they've got this space here is this space here and you put this one together and then you put this one together. Station six, that's where Tracy's Rock is, which is right in that little cluster there. That V there, I'm gonna just slide them right over like that. That curve is that curve in there. This is the light mantle. See how it's done like this? And they've done it like that. That's the light mantle. And then the rest is the dark mantle and the south massive. That's how they put this together. And these images are in the press kit. Got to remember that. This is all done, all mapped out, and all laid out at Flagstaff long before they took off. And they practice on these surfaces at Flagstaff. Flagstaff. Thank you.